How do I replace the Teflon syringe seal on the FlexMap 3D? Let's take a look at the procedure for removing and replacing the syringe seal. This routine is part of the semi-annual maintenance schedule or to be used if the seal isn't performing properly. Why should I replace the syringe seal? Replacing the seal will prevent leaks or pressure loss in the fluidic system. This is a preventative maintenance procedure to avoid any downtime on the FlexMap 3D instrument. In normal use, the seal will degrade slowly. If the seal does fail before the scheduled replacement, the two most obvious signs will be air bubbles in the syringe cylinder and liquid leaking from the syringe assembly. The FlexMap 3D cannot run properly if the seal is broken. Regular replacement of the seal should help avoid any issues with the seal and keep the FlexMap 3D working properly. Here's how to replace the syringe seal. Turn off the FlexMap 3D instrument and unplug the power cord. Warning, the syringe arm does not deactivate while the seal is being changed. Unplugging is necessary to avoid injury. Open the right front door of the FlexMap 3D instrument. Locate the syringe assemblies. Look for the glass cylinder with the metal rod plunger inside. Remove the screw on the syringe arm at the bottom of the syringe and push down on the syringe arm. Please note, the syringe arm can be difficult to move and may require forceful pressure to get it to disengage. Unscrew the syringe from the top of its housing. This will free the syringe from the instrument. Remove the plunger from the inside of the syringe. The seal is located on the end of the plunger. Remove the cap from the end of the plunger. Note, tools may be required to remove the seal if it cannot be done by hand. Replace the O-ring on the tip of the plunger rod. Then, replace the syringe seal over the O-ring. Ensure the seal is fully seated and the top is level. Push the plunger back into the syringe. Screw the syringe into the top of its housing. Pull up on the syringe arm, allowing the bottom of the syringe to slide into the hole on the top of the arm. Replace the thumb screw on the syringe arm. The FlexMap 3D instrument can now be powered back on. Before using the instrument, the syringe seal needs to be checked for leaks. Using the exponent for FlexMap 3D software, run the Prime command twice. This will remove any air bubbles in the fluidics lines. From the home page, click the Maintenance tab. On the Maintenance tab, click Commands and Routines. From the commands list, click on Prime twice to add it to the command sequence. Note, the FlexMap 3D instrument draws sheath fluid from the sheath fluid container for this routine. For this reason, no solution needs to be added to the plate or off-plate reagent block for this procedure. The routine can be saved as a custom routine by clicking the Save As button and typing in a routine name, or can be run without saving by clicking the Run button. While the routine is running, watch the syringe for any leaks. Close the door on the FlexMap 3D. And finally, remember to change the syringe seal as part of your semi-annual maintenance or when there is a leak. Properly working syringe pumps keep the FlexMap 3D instrument working for all commands and routines.